All right. So I wasn't doing the deck tech in the very beginning of the video, and I thought I would do that, especially because a few people made a few complaints, and I'm like, you know what? That's a really good complaint, so let's do this. Um, we have 24 lands. This is my zombie deck tech, and I've seen a lot of success with it. Um, it does find binds every now and then. I have lost to like a mill deck and uh, a few other odds and ends in this crazy ramp elf deck uh, that uh, one of my patrons built, Dustin, the other day. Um, let's just see what it is. So we got a Mutavault to start things off. We have two of these. Mutavault becomes a 2-2 creature with all creature types until end of turn. It's still a land. I've actually won games just with Mutavault alone. Only running two of them because we're going to need all the swamps we can get. Then we have 22 swamps. We have four go for the throats, which probably should be on the sideboard and Fatal Push should be in here, but we're not running it that way. We're going to do go for the throat. It's going to be our main. And then we have four victim of knights, basically just destroying target uh, non-zombie werewolf vampire creature. Drown in Sorrow. Two of these. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. We have three Lord of the Undeads. Um, basically, for tapping two, we can bring back a creature, um, a zombie creature, which is going to happen. Uh, bringing back Rolf's Messenger after it's killed off is a damn good possibility. It has won games before as well. Many, uh, there's a few win conditions in here. Lord of the Undead. Three of those. Two of the Phyrexian Arenas. At the beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card and you lose one life. Amazing card. It is not cheap, though, for some reason. I guess I can understand why. But we have life gain as well. That's going to basically contribute to our devotion for uh, Mr. Ass Poodle over here. Underworld Connections, another life uh, another um, life taker, I should say. Um, Enchant Land has tap, pay one life, draw a card. That's going to contribute to our devotion as well for Gary. Geralt's Messenger, another huge contributor for that card. Um, uh, it enters the battlefield tapped. When Garoff Messenger enters the battlefield, target opponent loses two life, hasn't dying, so we can always bring it back after it's killed with a couple different ways. Damnation, running four of those. It's a huge board wiper, four drop. It's a sorcery, destroy all creatures. They can't be uh, regenerated. Mr. Gary, great card. When when Gary, uh, when Gray Merchant uh, Aspool enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life or X is your devotion to black. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. That's amazing. So we're this basically going to be dropped when we have a nice amount of devotion out, or if we just have to drop it. We're going to deal that X damage, gain the X life, and then we can freaking just board wipe right after uh, using Damnation. Bring back our Garolf, bam, another two. You, you, get, the, you get the gist. Um, corrupt. Corrupt. Uh, we have four of those Garys, by the way. Uh, corrupt deals X damage to target creature or player, where uh, X is the number of swamps you control. You gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. That's why we're going to need so many freaking swamps in here. Uh, that's why we're running a total of 22 swamps plus the two muta vaults. Then we have Geth, Lord of the Vault. Intimidate, put target artifact or creature cards converted mana cost X from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Tapped, that player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. It's a 5 5. Pretty freaking dope card that's going to help to bring back other cards as well. Um, but most importantly, bringing back cards that are his, not mine. And um, from all the removal, if we see something we like, we can gank it back with uh, Geth. And that can happen every freaking turn. Plus, it has Intimidate. can't be blocked unless there's swamps. Unless they control, uh, unless they have a card of the same color or an uh, artifact creature. Torment of Hailfire. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices an island permanent or discards a card. Running two of those. And then on our sideboard, we got another Underworld Connection, Army of the Damned, which lets us drop a bunch of uh, zombies down. Um, I'm not even sure how to say this card. Eggs and you want an eight. Whatever. Each opponent loses X life. You gain life equal to life lost this way. This right here makes us bring back two zombies. It's a uh, mac Macabre Waltz. Mac macabre. Um, macabre. Macabre. And we have four Fatal Pushes with three da uh, three Dashes of Hopes and one Death Baron, one Lord of the Undead. All right, let's give this deck a run and see how it does. We are going into Modern, so we are going to be up against Artifact Heavy, which you kind of wonder why we have Go for the Throats in there. Let's actually kick out two of them, and we'll replace them right now with two Fatal Pushes. And we'll see how that goes. There we go. Now some of you can rest ashore, just because we're going into Modern. No, I don't look like a total noob. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks, guys. You guys are you guys are my favorites. You guys are my favorites. Hmm. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and play the match. We're going to verse anyone that wants to be a part of this. And that's how she blows. And she blows good. She's a good blower of all things, wouldn't you know? Legit.
How's everyone doing? Is your life total greater than mine? I think once you hit 30, you got to start like subtracting from your life total. That should be how it works. We are up against Axel. You on the roll. Would you like to play first? Sure, man. This looks like a pretty solid starting hand. The only thing I don't like is that we don't have... Uh... I guess I could drop me to vault first. I don't always really agree with that, but we don't have... Well, we can get it from life. Or we can get it from uh, draws. We don't have removal right now, which that's killing me. That is not good. So, okay, so we're going to drop that down. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. We're going to end our turn. Yes, we are. Fingers crossed. Oh, we're never going to... Oh, my God. No, it's not a life gain deck, is it? It is a life gain deck. You rat bastard guy. All right, so we are up against life gain. This could be crazy. Okay. Yeah, I guess we can do this. Yeah, we will add that swampy. Make me devolve into a creature. Wing! And then we'll attack with it. Let's do this. Swing. Hit him for two. Gotta hit him for every little bit of damage you can. Whenever there's a window, you better take it, guy. See, there's our Muta Vault in action. Got him down to 18 already. Swing. Okay. I won't say swing again, I promise you. He can do nothing. Interesting. Maybe he's trying to lightning bolt us. Little does he know. We don't play that game. Now, we are going to drop Mr. Phyrexian in Arena. Whoops. Almost messed that up. And uh, we're going to be paying that life every turn, but that's cool. And we can do nothing. So we pass it. But we did that two damage. That was something. We got three swamp. We got three lands out. We're about to have four, which is going to be big. Then we can Garof's Messenger, then Lord of the Undead, destroy target land. Ooh, if that land was a non basic. Ooh, Randy. Ooh, you little rascal. You little rascal. I didn't see that coming. Oh my goodness. He has land destruction. Molten rain to my hiney. Okay, that's good. Trigger that ability. Get that extra draw. Hope it's a land. I love land. We need land. We just want land. Land! Beautiful. Um, and then we shall tap three. Mr. Messenger is coming out. This is where things get interesting. If he kills him, he's just going to come back. So he's going to have to deal with that. We are at 17 life, though. All right. Deal that pain to him. He's at 16. And then we end our turn. And hopefully we get uh, Mr. Ass Poodle at some point. Because he would be huge. Why is this off? Sorry. Hopefully that corrected things. Whoops. Tap two untapped red creatures you control. Black blue just three damage. Okay. Uh, I don't really want that sitting out, so we're just going to kill that. We are going to kill that. We'll probably uh, drown in sorrow. We can just drown in sorrow. Why not? Trigger that ability, baby, baby. Victim of night. Six million ways to die. Choose one, sir. Um, I think because of the trigger. Yeah, we might as well do it now. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's drown in sorrow. So here's not a trigger, but we're going to be able to bring Groff right back. We're killing off him, making him stronger, bringing him back, and then we're taking care of his creature as well. We're scrying one. Um, I don't think I want that right now. Put on bottom of your library. Yeah. Let's do that. So, bing, and then he comes back, dealing that extra two damage. Oh, that's fun. And we got rid of his creature in the process. Beautiful. And he's stronger now. He's a 4-3. Oh, and he lightning bolts him. You little rascal. That's cool because we have Lord of the Undead. So we'll drop him next turn and we'll bring him back. 
So he's down to 14. We are at 16. This is a fun little game. We're having a fun little match here. He's got a lot of land out. It's the beginning of your upkeep. You may exit all target cards. Let's, can we make this bigger? We cannot make it any bigger. That sucks. Uh, more anger. Okay, sure. That looks fun, man. That's gonna be some. That's gonna be a pain in the in the rear. Artifact heavy, mono black and ugh. Mono black and uh. And modern is rough, guys. Ooh, Gary, hello, hello, Gary. How are you, sir? So we'll bump that out. Ah, uh, I don't want to waste too much time though. If he's just gonna. Oh, it's so slow to do all that. Because then I bring out... Ugh. I think I'd be better off using the draw ability. And we'll kill him the other way. Let's just dump it on here. <sighs> like we needed that, but that's okay. We got it out of the way. Now we can at least draw into more... Um, we can draw into more stuff, you could say. Yes. We need more lands. Always need more lands in this deck. One more land, baby. So if we get that other land, we are looking good. We are looking really good, and we're going to have a lot of... Well, we'll have three cards. We can draw three cards, essentially. Ugh, get rid of that stupid thing. Wish I can... Uh, what did it cost? Yeah, let me tap this. Get rid of that right now. And then you got that out. We can victim of night that next turn. Give me a freaking land. Love of God. Thank you, baby Jesus. Okay. Drop that land down, baby, baby. And then at this point. Mm. Yeah. Might as well drop down on Mr. Gary here. That's going to cause him damage. He's at eight. And then we might as well use this ability. Pay one life, draw a card, another underworld connection. That's cool. At least we got that cycled through. And then, that cycles. Don't listen when I talk. I just talk out my ass a lot. I don't think you guys realize that. A lot of the stuff I say is gibberish. What's he doing? He's probably about to destroy a land. Oh, kill two birds, one stone, did you? That was cutesy. All right, I like the way you do that. That's cute, that's cute. We needed that land, though. All right, hopefully we get a land. We got a land, sweet. And then we can, let's corrupt them. Or should we hold off? I know what we'll do, we'll hold off. You're right, you're right. You guys are right, you guys are all right. All right, we're gonna hold off. We're gonna just tap two. I bring out Victim of Night, and we're going to slap him. Why not, right? And then, while we're sitting here pretty, tapping three, might as well bring him out. Then next turn, we can corrupt. We're going to swing right now for three, and then we'll be able to deal f fatal damage to him. Uh... So now we're going to swing with Mr. Gray. He's tapping. He's gaining life. Okay, I forgot about that ability. All right. We will just attack with him. That's three. He's at ten. Silly me. And then, uh... uh not sure what we'll do next turn. 
We'll see how it goes. I don't I think that's helping him, I guess. I'm sure. We well, got one. Hopefully he taps uh two or less. I think he's be like, no, push it. Okay, don't push it. Okay, don't push that up your ass, boy. Oh, it's three. Well, we can't remove it right now. Oh, I just can't do it right now. Sonny Bob. Give me that draw ability. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. Then we have seven. Hmm. I say we just hit corrupt on him and then we swing. What do you think? Corrupt and swing? Yeah. Corrupt and swing. Let's do it. I mean, we could do Groff, but that's, it, it'll just draw it out. Do we really want to draw it out that long? I don't think so. So he's down to three. Mm. All right. And we'll attack with these two lovely fellas. <clears throat> Hopefully that should be it. Well, it's not it. He'll have one life if he blocks. Yeah. Well, wait. If he does that, then it's game. I guess he wants to die. All right. Game. So that's the first game. Um, I did play up against, uh, like I said, my friend uh, Dustin's deck. If I'm saying Dustin and it's Justin, I'm, I do apologize. I think it's Dustin. Um, and that was a good time. I think that deck worked pretty well against this guy. I think we're just going to run it back. Fatal push helped a little bit. I kind of like where it's at. Yeah, I like, I like where this deck's at. I think you guys can agree. We don't really need to sideboard much here. Uh, was that Death Baron in here? We can get rid of him. He's kind of pointless being in this deck. He's not in here. All right. I think we did fairly well against what we're up against here. So let's just submit the deck and go for the rematch. Let's go for the rematch. Keeping it. He goes first. Unless there's a... That card sucks. Unless you have, like, some triggers for that, man. It's just poo-poo, poo-poo. I think I want to get two more of the other ones. Not the Underworld Connections, but the other one, whatever it's called. Because that card works great. There she blows. That Phyrexian Arena. And we'll just pass it to him because we don't do nothing unless we're responding to something in the first uh, first two turns. But yeah, the goal here is to win. Did you know that? That's the goal. Oh man, this guy and his see right now it would be awesome if we had our dash hopes because we could tap dash hopes. I should just I, I'll have to sideboard that. That'd be fun. See, now we're kind of hurting. We need that third land. Or we're in trouble. But at least we can fatal push something here. He's tapping two instantly. Oh, whoa. He only tapped two to bring that out, though. Am I confused here about something? Oh, wow. I see how you want to play, buddy. 
I see how you want to play. Well, we're just going to go for the throat on you, sonny boy. Not going to give you any chance to do any of that crap. Yes, we got what we needed. Bam! Skadoosh. Oh, we don't want to do that at all. We want a Phyrexian Arena. <laughs> Good thing it didn't let me do that. <laughs> we have fun. We have fun. Okay. Keep it alive. I love this zombie deck. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. He brought that out. So we can just Victim of Night at next turn. And him and his little life gain deck over here. It's cute, man. That is freaking cute. Yes, let's draw that card. Give me another land. Yes, Siri Bob. Yes, Siri Bob. I guess we can just tap two and Victim of Night the problem. Bing! Get rid of that. Just remove, 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 and then drain him of life is how we're going to do this. Hopefully. What's he doing? Man, he's got a lot of those cards, like forever and a day. Right now, I cannot remove that. Not at this point. Nice. Underworld connections. Damnation. Do we drop this guy? No, no, no. I don't want him to have a creature on me, though. So I guess we'll drop the undead dude. Yeah. Let's do that. Then, I mean, really, we'll just see what happens here. Play it by ear. Lightning bolt him. That's cute, bro. But then we can use our fatal push. We'll see ya, buddy. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Fun little, like, back and forth here with this guy. We are having fun. Yes, we are. But with him gaining life, that could be a problem. We are not going to let you be drawing cards like that. So I'll either damnation that dude, <laughs> or uh, I don't know. We'll see. Victim of night. We'll take your pick, buddy. Oh, only one. Ah, uh, we needed some land, though. That's all right. We are not letting him draw cards. We'll see you, pal. And then we can drop down Underworld Connections, throw it on that. And we end our turn. We are just controlling this board. He has two cards. Is that all he has is creatures in his deck? What's he got? Oh, that guy. And it's on us. Well, I don't really care much for that card. I don't, I don't, it's just not, uh, not doing nothing for me. Um, I guess we don't have any of that mana. Is there any card over here we can even use? Not really. Just because I never use them. Let's bring out Geth. Good old Geth, sir. And we'll roll it. Let this dude go. He's not going to be able to block it because he has no artifact creatures that I've seen yet. None that I'm aware of. I almost burped, but I didn't for you guys. I did it for you guys. Just kidding. It's something I say. I did it for you guys. Uh, who used to say that? I'm not even gonna say his name. Uh, but you know who? You know who does that? We know who does that. Ah, 
that's another MTG YouTuber. I did this for you guys. I did this for you. No, you did it for your wallet, bro. Shut up. All right, enough of that. Where's see? That's a fatal push. It's an easy fatal push removal right there, man. He's gaining life. Look at this guy up to 25, huh? Let's see how you want to play, bro. All right, give me that life. Give me one more swan. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, should I? This would really hurt him if I do this now. For seven, use Torment of Hailfire. It is so. It's such a mean card. Watch this. This is so mean. This is so mean. <laughs> it is brutal. He's got to do it like five times. Oh my god. So he takes three life, which he will. He can do the three life again and again and again. Or it's 15 damage, or he has to remove cards, remove permanence, or discard. He only has one card he could discard. Yeah, he's taking the life. That is brutal. He took it for all of it. Look at that. Dropped him down to 10 life. Oh, that's brutal. And then, with that being said, okie doke, we will attack with our Geth dude. I don't care if he dies or not. It's whatever. He shouldn't, though. Because he'd need, like, two lightning bolts for that. Even if he blocks. He took it like a champ. He's down to five. Oh, he can't block... I'm so, oh my god, guys. Head injuries. Head injuries, guys. I've had them. I've had head injuries. I'm just saying. Alright. Creature weird. That's a weird creature you got there, buddy. That is a weird creature. I mean, that's game. He can just concede because he can't, unless he can kill it. Destroy a land. I guess you could do that. For extreme budget, his deck's fun. I'll give him that. It's a fun little deck there, but too much good. My removal is just overwhelming. Hard to deal with. And that's the ball game. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just drop that. And that's game. So Mr. Ass Poodles came through in the end for us. And we had two of them there. That was cool. So we won that one. Yippee! All right. But that was not the most... Um, that was not the most intense uh, opponent we could have. But there's the deck tech. I'm going to leave it right here at this one. Um, this deck wins, I'd say, about 50% of the time. Mm, 50 to 60%. It really depends. Once we get against, if we go against artifact heavy stuff, then we run into some issues. But I mean, other than that, it holds up pretty good uh, for the most part. Or if some ramp decks can take it out also. But yeah, there you go, guys. So yeah, freaking sweet deck. Check it out. Um, if you put one together like it or similar, let me know. All right, giggity poop.